And you think thoughts of goodwill, compassion, empathetic joy, equanimity. It's important that you learn how to show some goodwill to yourself by the way you breathe. You breathe in a way that's harsh, and you talk to yourself in a way that's harsh. It's going to be hard to be happy for the happiness of others, or even to wish them the happiness, because you feel miserable inside. And it's very easy to resent other people's happiness when that's the case. So you have to learn how to be kind to yourself inside by the way you breathe and by the way you talk to yourself as you're doing the meditation and as you go through the day. Umbudun, who lived through a lot of physical hardship, made a comment one time after things started getting more and more comfortable in Thailand. This one very wealthy woman came to him and was complaining about all the things she was worried about in her life. As she left, he commented to one of his students, it isn't amazing how people can make themselves suffer just by the way they think. That's what a lot of what suffering is, by the way we think, by the way we talk to ourselves. So if you find yourself talking to yourself in a harsh and unforgiving way, ask yourself, well, how would a John Lee talk to you? How would a John Munn talk to you? Think of any of the Johns that you trust. How would they speak to you? And try to emulate their speech inside. That way this committee that you've got inside gets people with more and more skillful people. People who have an understanding of what it's like to suffer, but also an understanding of how we can find happiness inside, how we can find a sense of well-being inside. Once you start feeling that sense of well-being, then it's a lot easier not to resent the well-being of others. So you say, may all beings be happy. It becomes more and more a sincere wish. May they not be deprived of the good fortune they have attained. You want that to be a severe, <coughs> sincere wish, too. So look at how you talk to yourself and ask yourself, would a wise person talk to him or herself that way? And if not, you've got to change some of the conversation. Because you do have the choice. As the Buddha said, if people couldn't develop skillful qualities inside, it wouldn't have been worth his while to teach. But it's because we can become skillful and abandon unskillful qualities. That's why he taught. Because he saw that anyone who listened to his teaching and put them into practice would find true well-being. He had an amount of compassion for us. The question is, do we have any compassion for ourselves? Then you find that you're being unskillful in the way you talk to yourself. Remind yourself you can change. There are lots of good examples all around. So follow those examples, not the bad examples you may have been carrying around. And you find that goodwill is a lot more accessible. And when you can have goodwill for all beings, then you can trust yourself a lot more.